Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wild Mama. My name is Allison. So today I wanna to keep it pretty short and simple. I want to discuss with you guys ways to prevent diaper rash because what parent in their right mind wants their baby to have a rash all over their ass, right? Right, so today I'm gonna to share with you some simple tips to prevent that from happening so that your baby doesn't have to be in any agonizing pain, right? All right, let's go. All right, diaper rash prevention tip number one. Always use coconut oil between diaper changes. Personally, the reason that I use coconut oil is because it's pure and it's simple. Even a lot of those really nice diaper balms that are out there contain fragrances and chemicals in them. So I just keep it super natural and I use coconut oil. It's also antibacterial and antimicrobial. It also contains lauric acid, which is fantastic for the skin. It's a little comedogenic, so not necessarily something that you wanna use as a facial moisturizer, but on the body, it does wonders. So we just have a tiny little jar that sits on my son's dresser. Every single time I change him, I let him dry a little bit, and then I put coconut oil all over the things, put the diaper on, and we're good to go. Diaper rash prevention tip number two. Don't let your baby sit in a wet diaper. You need to be changing diapers every hour and a half to two hours tops. I am super religious about this. The second I know that my son has any sort of wetness in his diaper, it doesn't matter if it's one tiny baby pee, which they're really not so tiny anymore, like they're like normal human peas, I feel like. Anyway, I change his diaper right away. So just don't let them sit in it. Change their diapers frequently. One thing that happens with people who use disposable diapers is because they have those little indicator strips on them, some parents have a tendency to kind of wait until they see that indicator turn blue or whatever color it is. So just make sure, I mean, Look, this is your kid. Stick a finger in their diaper, check if they're wet. Don't wait for the strip. And if you're using cloth diapers, I mean, it's the same thing. Stick a finger in there or just like clockwork, if it's been an hour and a half, two hours and you haven't changed your baby's diaper, change your baby's diaper. Diaper rash prevention tip number three, let your baby be naked. So uh, I have a blanket, I've talked about this before. It's by a company called Little Unicorn. I requested this for Christmas because I specifically wanted to do more naked time with my son. It's a wipeable blanket. So if he pees on it, which he has, and if he poops on it, which he has, all I have to do is spray it and wipe it off. It is the literally the most fantastic gift slash product that I have received, maybe aside from any of my cloth diapers. I'm absolutely obsessed. The thing is, is that your baby sits in a diaper literally all day long, okay, 24 hours a day. So maybe we'll say 23 and a half hours from the time that they're like momentarily undiapered between diaper changes. That's a really long time for a baby to be sitting in an area that's warm and it's moist and that breeds bacteria. It is a perfect breeding, breeding ground for your baby to get a yeast infection or some other thing that's gonna cause them to have a diaper rash, right? So what you wanna do with naked time is you just want to let it air out, okay? Let that skin completely dry and then put a diaper back on. So we usually do naked time a couple times a day, specifically in the morning after he's been in his nighttime diaper, obviously all night long. Uh, we do at least an hour of naked time in the morning. If you are cloth diapering, that doesn't necessarily have to be straight up butt ass naked. You can do a pre-fold or a flat or something and just wrap it around them. That, that will breathe enough. So if you don't have a blanket or anything like that, then you can, you can always do something like that. So let the skin breathe, let it dry, really will help preventing diaper rashes. Diaper rash prevention tip number four. I'm gonna tell you guys to cloth diaper because I am obsessed, literally, how could you not be obsessed with these prints? They're adorable, like for real, so cute. Anyways, I'm gonna say cloth diaper because that is one of the, that's one of the number one benefits of doing cloth diapers is that you don't have any harmful chemicals that are on your body, your baby's body at all whatsoever. So diaper rashes for parents who cloth diaper are virtually non-existent. It's one of the reasons why I chose to cloth diaper. However, if you are, that's not the route that you're gonna go, you really wanna stick to disposables. One thing that parents don't consider is just changing your diaper brand, okay? All diapers contain plastics and they contain chemicals. 
chemicals. And whatever combination of plastics and chemicals your specific brand is using, you might just need to change brands, okay? Simple as that, right? So you can always try bamboo ones too, but those still have the polymers in them. There are still going to be some chemicals. Just test different things out. But um, cloth diaper, because that's really where it's at. All right guys, so that's all I've got for you. Four simple tips on how to prevent diaper rash with your baby. I promise you they are game changers if you're not currently doing any of them. At least implement the coconut oil one and do some naked time every day, okay? If you're doing those things and your baby is still getting diaper rashes, try changing the diaper. If you're curious about cloth diapers and you feel like it's difficult or you just don't know where to start, like feel free to comment on my video. I literally would love if every single person in the world with a baby was cloth diapering. So whatever I can do to support you, I will, okay? All right, so as always, thanks for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and drop me some comments below, okay? Bye.